What up, y'all? So, I just got done mowing this yard. $50 front and back mow trim edge below one of my favorite yards because it's so small. But I wanted to answer a quick question that people always ask me, and I think it will never end. Um, is it worth it to knock on doors? Is it worth it to leave flyers? Is it worth it to leave the direct mailers that go into the mailbox of each neighborhood? Um, what do I recommend? So I'll just go down the list real quick, um, starting with what I recommend, which is just literally passing out business cards up and down the street. So example, I just mowed this yard right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's about 20 houses that I could go pass out these cards right now. And whether they call me today, tomorrow, a week, a month from now, they're going to call eventually because I've learned that a lot of customers might not call you immediately because they'll say that they could just go and mow the yard themselves. But whenever summertime comes and it gets hot, they don't want to do that no more. So even if you pass out the cards, don't expect to call immediately, but just know by, by putting it in front of their face, they'll put it in their wallet on their bulletin board. They'll call you eventually. Knocking on doors, I don't like doing that. I think that's annoying. I don't want somebody knocking on my door, so I'm not going to do it to others. Um, flyers, I don't think it's a necessary thing to do. I think if you just make a badass business card one time and then you just print out a bunch of them your business card can be your flyer it could be your door hanger and it could be your mailer but that's just my opinion and everybody that i've worked with has had great results of that i haven't had anybody making flyers door hangers or anything i tell them just do a business card just like this let me put one underneath the doormat all you got to do is just do this boom i don't put it in the doorknob i think that's annoying i think right there is subtle maybe you make it a little bit more even right there boom so they can take it and they can hold on to it and if they want to call me then they can if not then they don't got to i don't like knocking on doors i'm not big on door hangers i'm not big on flyers i've never once done a direct door mailer the ones that go into the mailboxes i literally just think that passing out business cards as much as you can every time you do a new yard just go spread them down the road if you're off and you want more customers then what are you doing you need to go walk around these neighborhoods that you want to target and then go pass out the business cards you could pay people to pass out business cards i've done that in the past i paid people off of craigslist to go pass out my cards i don't know if that was a good idea or not but i thought it'd be fun and exciting to hire somebody to do something for me so that's just it um knocking on doors i'm not crazy about that leaving cards on windshields i don't like crazy about that I don't like doing that. I like leaving them on the corner of the doormat. I think by just having your business cards left as much as you can, that will do a great thing for your business. So that's just my opinion. Save your money, save your energy. You don't have to design five different graphics for five different mediums. You could just make one badass business card and just throw it around your city. Go to local restaurants, ask if you can put it on the counter of the, whether you pay because you'd be surprised lots of businesses let me do that in my area. And it's just small businesses helping small businesses. So I hope that helps with picking up more customers. It's April. You should be flooded with calls right now if you're advertising because this is prime time and the customers you land now could be dollar dollar bills for years to come just like they are for me. So that being said, I'm gonna go finish my yards and that's it, peace out, bigmoneymom.com. Actually, I'll share one more thing I was also thinking about since I've been busy and haven't posted a video. Okay, so the topic of professionalism, um, so just look at me, look at my operation. Um, first off, my truck's a 03, it's super old. It costs us $2,400 from Craigslist. Um, I got long hair, I have a nose piercing. Um, I don't wear my name or my business name or my phone number on my t-shirts. This is literally a Fila breathable t-shirt from Kohl's. Um, I don't wear neon green or neon pink like most people in landscaping or construction do. And to the untrained eye and people will comment on my videos and say if you look more professional you'd get more business if you had a newer truck and if you cut your hair you get more business and I think no matter what you do in any light people are always going to chirp at you and just say what they think and that's okay everyone has an opinion but I just want to share for you beginners because I know a lot of you watch my video who are worried about how you're going to look to customers um, example A would be a lot of people tell me I have a Honda Civic or a Honda Accord or customers going to care if I pull up in that and to be honest I mean, if you do a good job straight up, that's gonna that's gonna dictate how long you have a Honda Accord for before you can afford a truck from all the customers that you're earning with your good business. Ideally, you don't wanna pull up on a Honda Civic, right? But so many people do it. I've worked with so many people that are putting the foldable Toro mower into the trunk of their car and they're getting jobs done and they're saving money and they're getting their business out into the world. And before you know it, you'll be able to buy a new vehicle. Um, you could also go and you can get a hitch installed on the bottom of the 
the hitch for the car or you can go to U-Haul and they can install the hitch if you don't have one. You can put a little cargo rack and put your mower on top of it like where people put the coolers when they're road tripping. You can just put a mower right there. Um, you can do so many things, but don't, or, of course you don't want to pull up on a Honda Civic and mow, but if you got to do it, then you got to do it. And it's just a matter of time before you can save up a couple thousand and get a used truck and just keep leveling up because this truck, the equipment, everything that you buy, it's all replaceable and nothing's going to last forever. So, I mean, you want it to last for a couple years, five years, whatever, but don't worry about how you look. Um, just be yourself and just do a good job and just stay true to you. If I got a clean haircut and if I got rid of my nose piercing and if I got a newer truck, sure, I could maybe get more business, but my business is doing fine. I like the way I roll. I'm being myself. I'm staying true to myself and that's the easiest way I can do it. You could always do something better. You could always do something cleaner, but as long as you're giving it your all and you have good intentions and you're making the customer happy and you're doing a good job, then I think how you look and how you dress pays a little, it plays a part, but I don't think it plays as big of a part as you might think it does. Um, I used to have a 2014 Ram 1500. $20,000 truck I used to mow with it I used to hate getting it nicked up and scratched and stuff um, it just looked like a pretty boy truck I don't like it I like this truck I can this thing is they, they don't make them like they used to this is things made out of metal I feel like and I don't know just be yourself and just go and do what you got to do and don't don't care so much what people will tell you because take it from me for me having my YouTube grow I've never had so many people come at me sideways just telling me I'm doing stuff wrong and, and in the beginning if you're not used to it it will kind of shuffle you around and you'll be thinking well am I doing something wrong should I do this but in reality it's like nah and you know in your heart what you should be doing you know what's pulling you and what's pushing you away so just do what you got to do and don't worry about looking unprofessional just with the setup that you got if you got the worst tools ever that might mean you just have to mow the yard two times because your mower blades are dull or your trimmer's not that strong but do what you got to do and if you just keep up with it just realize no matter what you do what business you pick what endeavor you go on there's always going to be the most grinding in the beginning and it's going to take the most stress the most hustle and you're going to think about quitting the most in the beginning just like i did no matter what you pick whether it's a job a career a business but if you just push past it and you just learn how to maneuver through this thing that you're getting yourself into, then eventually you will figure it out. Point blank. Yeah, kind of a random rant, but I just wanted to share that. I guess I'll keep filming because I feel like it. Okay, so this is this yard too. Front yard only. Usually it's a front and back for four, uh, for $50 front and back Motrim Edge Blow, but the backyard's tiny. They only want the front yard done, so they pay me 45 for the front yard, which is cool. And I ordered my aerator. Almost a month ago, they said it'd take a one week. This is the fourth week and I still haven't got it. I would love to aerate this yard, but it might be too late by the time I get it because it's getting hot. But for beginners, I'll just make this video about beginners. Um, BG86 handheld blower. Should you have a backpack blower? Um, I have one, but look how small my little driveways and walkways are. I don't need one. I like the handheld blower. I've been using this for years and I love it. BG86 blower. This trim, that one's like 220 bucks. This is like $220 also. FS70, I love this trimmer. It's not the biggest, but again, look at my small yard. So if you have small yards like me, I recommend this one. It's lightweight, it's easy to use, and it's very powerful. The Xmark 30, I've had this for years. I love it. People ask me if it's worth it because they see bad reviews on it. I love it. I've never had problems with it. It runs straight good for me. I use ethanol-free gas, and that's pretty much the only thing that I would give you as a critical tip. Use ethanol-free gas, whether you get it from a mower dealer, um, a gas station like Quick Trip, or if you had to buy it from Lowe's. Probably the most expensive way, but it makes the mower run night and day differently with ethanol-free gas. Um, yeah. And I guess I'll show you my food because that's fun, right? Your boy's been stocking up. Look at all this stuff I got. Protein shakes, protein bars, this, oranges. So my truck looks like getting it done. And yeah. And I guess random thought number, I need to take a picture of this yard. One second. So what I do is the day before I'm about to go mow, say if I have 10 yards or five yards, whatever it is, at 3, 4, 5 p.m. in the afternoon, I'll copy-paste the same message to all my customers. I'll say, hi, I'll be there tomorrow. And then if I know they have dogs, then I'll tell them morning or afternoon. But other than that, a majority of them don't care or have a dog. So I don't have to tell them an exact time. And I think telling people an exact time, I think telling multiple customers I'll be there at 9, 30, 10, 30, uh, 11, and just having them lined up, I think that's the most stressful thing you could do. And it's unnecessary to take it from me because I don't do it. So all I do is I tell them I'm going to be there in the morning or the afternoon if they have a dog. And if not, I just say I'll be there tomorrow and then they leave the gate open and that's it and I get it done. Then when I'm complete with the yards, whenever I finish all the mows, I copy paste the same type of formatting. I copy paste that I'll be there tomorrow's. 
And then the next day I copy and paste, the yard is complete, except I just change the picture to their picture of the yard. And I just say, yard's complete, yard's complete, yard's complete to each of my customers. And then I send them the invoice and that's it, boom. That's how I do my scheduling and communicating with my customers. I keep it simple. I'm sure there's a million other ways to do it, but that's just how I do it. And then also another thing. So this is a yard I'm about to mow right now, right? Little simple front yard, another one. There's my beautiful mower. People leave cards for other lawn services. I'm just giving this guy a huge plug. People leave these on my customers' houses all the time. So there's competition everywhere. Even on the houses that I own, people are trying to snag them from me. But for some reason, they still like having me to do their yard. So it just goes to show competitions everywhere. I have, I see this all the time, different companies, new companies every day, new houses. And it doesn't matter. I'm still going to mow these yards. So doggy dog world, do what you got to do, boo. about to do another yard didn't plan on vlogging today but i felt like vlogging halfway through so kind of a chopped up video but about to mow this one and i think her neighbor she said i don't know which one but she said her neighbor wants yard mode so it could be that one could be that one not sure i guess we'll find out Almost done. Ta-da! Okay, let me go show you. Is that back? Ta-da! I'm just realizing right now that I like the smell of gasoline when I'm filling up my tools. Okay, yard number two. First time customer. Let's do it. And it's cool because I just texted two of my yards. I'll show you one of them right now. And I told them, hey, uh, I was planning on being there tomorrow, but I can be there today. And they said, that's fine. So it's like, I just get the work out of the way so I could relax tomorrow. And I can just give myself an advance with payment, but I still have to do the work. So it's not really an advance. Well, I guess it is an advance. Awesome. And then um, I put everything in the bag right there just because it was only a little bit because the grass was still short, but I bagged it and yeah. then I did the edges and I did as much as I could because it's kind of rough just because it's grass to the mold. I know, I but, know. Uh, but it looks good to you? Yeah, it does. I'm okay, getting awesome. ready to have rings put around uh, okay. there, so that'll help. But, Make it look really pretty. Yeah. By the way, I'm a UTSA yes. alumni also. Oh, really? What did yeah. you, what'd you uh, get your degree in? I got my master's in uh, bicultural bilingual studies. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, uh, how many languages do you speak? I, do, I speak. Do you speak Tagalog? Spanish, no. Tagal uh. Spanish and English, and then I... What kind do you have? Um, he's a Bijan Poodle mix. Oh, I think he's cute. like 17 years old right now. He showed up on our doorstep like 16 years ago, and he's still alive. And some days his legs are arthritis-y and they'll give out. And some days he runs around and jumps in the air super tall. Yeah. See, little encounters like that, I was very hesitant when she first told me, or when my customer told me that her neighbor wanted their yard done. I was telling myself, I don't even want the money. I don't want to interact with somebody new. I don't want to see a brand new yard and what it might be. But I went out of my comfort zone and I took it on and then she ended up being super nice and we had a great conversation about language and cat dogs. And she's cool and her yard was simple. So I still get nervous to this day. I don't think it will ever go away. I think I just overcome it and then I feel successful. So if you still feel nervous, then realize so do I. So we're both the same. Yard number, I don't know. All I know is I have this one and then two more. I don't even know how much I made yet. I'm just trying to get them done. Da 
that is it for today because I'm getting hungry and I want to go finish the day. Hair flip. Not about money today. I don't even know how much I made. Probably like 400 500 again as usual. But I just wanted this video to be about the vibes. And yeah, so I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Uh, be an open thinker. Get closer to God and everything will work itself out. Peace.